Hi, I'm Mark Randusky, the product sales manager for the GeForce Intelligent Lift device from Gorabelt. Today what we're going to be talking about is a new product accessory or extension uh, that we're, it's called the Force Sensing Handle. Now, before we get into the Force Sensing Handle, we have three different configurations of that new handle. Uh, but I'd like to show you currently what our offering is and why it'll kind of help you understand why we're doing the Force Sensing Handle extension. On the uh, standard inline slide handle or any slide handle from the GeForce or Easy Arm, uh, as I move my arm up and down, it moves with me. The way that happens is, if you look closely, this handle moves up and down. There's about an inch and a half or so of travel. When it's in the center position, it's still. And when I have my hand on, as long as I keep it in that center position and don't move my arm at all, it stays still. Now, when I grab onto this, it activates with the, uh, the operator presence photo sensor, which is right down the back side here. If I don't break that beam, this can go up or down and won't move. Uh, but as soon as I grab this end of my, uh, grab onto the handle and move my arm, I'm displacing this uh, slide handle. Now, as soon as I displace the handle, the servo control system is always trying to keep back up with my hand. So as soon as I move the handle, displace it up or down, it moves right back to where my hand is. And that's the way that operates. Now, uh, one of the limitations we have uh, with the uh, inline slide handle is we can only have this one set length. We have, this is, our, this is pretty much our entire offering for this particular handle. And that's due to some limitations in the mechanics and the, on the operator uh, photo beam, the operator presence photo beam. Now, uh, what we've done now is created a load cell based handle, and I'll show you there is no displace, no visual displacement um, up or down when you move the, the force sensing handle that we'll show you here in a second. Um, the other thing, it gets around a limitation of being able to extend this long slide handle, again, because of the, of the mechanics in here and the photo sensor, we, um, we can, with a force sensing handle, we can have an extended handle. And the reason you'd want that is if you wanted to have a tooling like this and maybe have a high and a low grip point, uh, you would want to have uh, that extended handle. The way we get around that right now, um, you can put two handles onto the a device. So I could take a second slide handle, I could put it here, so I could either have, a, I could have both a handle down here and a handle up here, so I could grab on either one, and either one would operate the G-Force, and that would allow me to get a high pick, or a high place point, and a low place point at the same time. So that's what our current offering is. Bring this back down. Uh, what we're gonna do is we'll, we're gonna switch over to a couple different configurations, and we'll show you uh, what this new force sensing handle is about and what the benefits are. All right, uh, the first uh, configuration of the force sensing uh, handle that I wanna show you is the inline version. Again, this does not move. Everything from here down is just sensing a little bit of load cell deflection. So you're, this is force based into a load cell. And the load cell you, you can see is uh, nested right behind this cover here. So you can see the cover, it's covered and protected on the front side. On the back side, you can see the load cell through there. And what I'm gonna do is show you how you can come down here. I'll pick this piece up right here. And this will allow me to go hand over hand to get to a high point so I can guide this straight down into this tube and then go hand over hand and place this piece gently down into this square tube and then disengage and come back out. Now, I would not be able to do that with a short handle. Uh, th that's, a, that's a benefit, again, if you have some kind of a high-sided dunnage that you need to get into, a big basket or a precision placement like this uh, that you need to put a piece into or take a piece out of, that you need to get to that high point and a low point They'll do that again for you coming back out. So I can go in here, engage the piece, hand over hand, bring it up. So I'm gripping low on the handle to get to a high point. Bring my G-force over, and then go hand over hand down and put my piece on the ground. And that is the benefit to using the inline force sensing handle. All right, the next uh, version of the force sensing handle I'd like to show you is the uh, the long version of the force sensing handle, which basically is the same one that you saw last time. Before, though, it was inline, uh, re configured as an inline slide handle with the G360 swivel on the top. We've now relocated that to this point right here, which is the same way things work with our slide handles right now. But instead of the slide handle, we now have this long version of the force sensing handle. Now, the reason, again, you would use this is when you have tooling involved and you need to reach high and low pick points, okay? So what, um, for this particular one, uh, what you'll be able to do is uh, move up or down as long as you put any kind of force on this handle, the side of the handle. If you put a force on this one over here or anywhere on the frame, it will not move, unless, of course, you're in float mode, which if I do that, 
if I put it in float mode, I do get float. I can, I can float this up or down. And as long as I don't put my hand on the handle, taking it back out of float mode, I could do that. But uh, this gives you a real good flexibility and the fact that you can just move up and down. And it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, you can climb up and down this handle pretty easily, even though this one's not actually sensing any force. So what I'll show is real quick, I'll show you how you're going to pick at a low point. I'm going to put the part up on this table, and you'll notice I'll never really have to bend over to get down to that low pick point, which is a, a big ergonomic benefit of this inline uh, force sensing handle. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here, pick it up with this basic hook tool that we've got, place it on this table. Again, I stay in an upright position, put this one down. I've got a little lower profile piece of a load here. Pick that one up and I'll put this one down on the ground. Again, hand over hand. I can pick high, I can pick low, but stay in a good ergonomic posture and never have to bend over. Uh, one thing I will note is that this uh, force sensing uh, long slide handle will come in two standard lengths. We'll stock two standard lengths. This is a 36 inch version and there will also be a 24 inch version uh, for you to pick. So if you can design your tooling around uh, 24 and 36 inch lengths, that's great. If you happen to need a different uh, length of a handle, uh, for whatever reason, your tooling needs it, your application needs it, then we can make custom lengths up to 36 inches, uh, but uh, they'll just be a few more weeks lead time. Finally, I'm gonna introduce you to the hub mounted version of the force sensing handle. Now this is probably the most unique and the most versatile for tooling integration. What you're seeing here is similar to last time, uh, the, the last section where I had the, the long uh, slide handle remote mounted uh, where you could put force on one side. What we have here is the hub design which incorporates the top portion of the uh, re regular handle and then down here below here you have a little bit of a linear bearing and a load cell and you can attach with these uh, clamp rings here a piece of one inch uh, pipe and you can put on here up to 25 pounds of anything you want. We have like a kind of an H frame handlebar here and the, what that gives you is the ability to grab anywhere on this tooling frame, right side, left side, top, bottom, anywhere I touch on this tooling frame here will now move the G-force up and down. Now this is not to be confused with float mode because if I touch the part itself, the tooling frame itself, that doesn't move. But because we've got a, a pretty large area of the uh, tooling, uh, the grips and the bars here, it kind of uh, feels like float mode to the operator because pretty much anywhere the operator can grab onto within his reach will move up or down. Now we do have this incorporated also with some of our uh, soft touch handle bases. So you've got handles here, so I can reach high and low, I can climb up and down this. Anywhere I touch on this will move up or down, either whether I use one hand or two hands. So it's very versatile that way. High-low picks for the bottom grips and the top grips. So there's a lot of versatility in the way this works. Now, much like the, the, the benefit of this, once again, is much like the other versions we talked about, getting a high and low pick point. But with this one, the ability to mount any kind of tooling uh, uh, handlebars, framework that you want to put on the front end that you want to have command of the up-down of the load, you can get that with the, with the hub. And also, you can mount this hub wherever you want to on your tooling. So it gives you a little more versatility, a little more, a little more flexibility with uh, the tooling integration portion. Now what we've got here is just, a, again, a very simple frame. This is just out here for counterbalance. Uh, anything that you'd see in your application is m most likely going to be quite a bit more complex. We have a simple hook tool here, but I'll show you just as we did the last time. I can hook a very low profile part off the floor, stay in good ergonomic posture, never bend over, and be able to set that right onto the table. And then vice versa, I can take a similar part, pick it up off the table. I've got a high, high pick point, and then I go back down to a low pick point. I just climb up and down those handles, and I can set that down real gently. And once again, the float mode, if I pick this, this load up again, again, not to be confused with float mode, because if I take my hands off this, this sizable uh, tooling, uh, I'll, say, I'll call it the up-down command handlebar here, if I try to put any force on the tool itself, this doesn't move unless my hand is actually on the up or down control here, okay? The only way I can get true float mode out of this is to engage float mode, and now, I can come over here and grab the part itself. So if for some reason you wanted to, to use the float mode, you could do that and just use this for up down uh, control that way. But again, anytime you grab this, it's gonna take it back out of float mode and you're gonna go into your force sensing handle mode. 
Okay, that about wraps it up. Just to recap, we've gone over the three different configurations of the new force sensing handle. First of all, we showed you the inline long slide handle that allowed you to go into that uh, square tube with the round cylinder. Uh, secondly, we did the, uh, the force sensing handle that was a long version that was mounted on tooling, and that was the one that allowed you to lift uh, up or down on the handle itself, but only on that one side where the handle was. And then finally, we wrapped up with this hub design, which gives you the most versatility. Uh, once again, this is Mark Randusky. I'm the product sales manager for the G-Force product line, and I hope you enjoyed these new products that we've got to show you. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.